Welcome to another episode of Sesame and Puff. Today we'll talk about feline herpes virus. What is feline herpes virus? Feline herpes virus can spread easily from cats to cats and is one of the major causes for upper respiratory infections or cat flu in cats. How did my cat get the virus? Your cat may get the virus through 1. Direct contact Usually by saliva, ocular or nasal discharge 2. Brief and sneeze droplets 3. Share footballs or litter trays with other infected cats 4. From the environment, mainly by the bedding or grooming aids once your cat is infected, your cat will have the virus forever and become a lifelong carrier. The reason for it is because the body cannot get rid of the virus and the virus will simply stay. However, the good news is the body is usually able to inactivate the virus and stop it from damaging the body. Once the body is able to do that, your cat will look healthy and happy again. With that being said, the virus is very smart. They will sleep in cats' neuron cells and wait for their chance. Once the cat's health gets worse, like by aging or stress, they will be unchecked and be reactivated again. When this happens, symptoms will show again and they will shed the virus, transmitting the disease to more cats. No, unfortunately, even for you and all other cats who don't look sick at all, we can't say for sure if you have had the virus before or not. You might have sneezed or coughed before without us knowing, like when you were at the shelter or maybe were just too ignorant to notice. And the virus may be sleeping inside you right now, so yeah, for healthy cats, they're either really clean or just suppressing the virus with their good immune system. Clinical signs for feline herpes virus 1. Acute upper respiratory infection Typical signs include conjunctivitis, ocular or nasal discharge, sneezing with or without coughing, drooling, pharyngitis, and fever. Signs will usually last for 6 to 20 days with symptoms very similar to feline Khaleesi virus, but a bit more severe. 2. Keratitis, a kind of manifestation of chronic feline herpes virus infection. Keratitis means cornea inflammation and this condition is relatively uncommon. These herpes virus caused keratitis is called dendritic keratitis in particular with the development of multiple small branching corneal ulcers. This is considered diagnostic of feline herpes virus infection. 3. Feline herpes virus associated dermatitis. Again, a manifestation of chronic feline herpes virus and is also very rare. This is about the development of inflammation and ulcerations on the skin, mainly around the nose and mouth. It may be spread to the front legs too in some cases, but yes, that's very rare. Treatment or management of feline herpes virus Feline herpes virus infections often come with secondary bacterial infections, so antibiotics are often needed. If the cat is severely ill, other supportive treatment including intravenous fluid therapy and nutritional support may also be needed. Certain antiviral drugs will also help, including the systemic antiviral therapy, the femcyclovir. We also have the topical ocular antiviral therapy, the cydophofir, which is given as eye drops for feline herpes virus associated conjunctivitis and keratitis. Prevention 1. Isolate the cats with clinical signs and maintain a good hygiene. Give them separate bowls and litter trays and wash your hands after contact. 2. Don't stop the isolation immediately after your cat gets back to normal. Introduce your cat back to your other healthy cats only days after she gets better because while signs may last for a few days or weeks, shedding a virus typically continue for around a month. In other words, even cats who look okay may still be giving out virus everywhere. Also, start vaccinating your cat around 8 weeks of age. By the time she is 1, she will have another booster. After that, vaccinate again every 1-3 to three years. While vaccination cannot guarantee no feline herpes virus infection, it will greatly reduce the severity of the disease. Besides, unlike feline Khaleesi virus, there is effectively only one strain of feline herpes virus, so vaccination is not complicated by the existence of different strains. That's all for feline herpes virus. Hope you enjoyed our video, and two weeks later we'll talk about the things that your cats should not eat, so make sure you subscribe our channel and stay tuned. Bye!
meow meow meow